When working on large assemblies, people often struggle to find the components that they're after. One very quick method of finding the components is to simply use the filter at the top of your, of your feature tree. If I click in there, I can start to type a part name, and see not only does it filter the feature tree, it's filtering out the graphical area as well. If I want to remove my filter, I can simply press the cross, and it sets it back. The filter is pretty useful not just for filtering out component names. If I wanted to find things like whether a component has got a material assigned to it, I could search for, say, not specified. And as soon as I start typing that, you'll notice it's filtered the tree and the graphical area just to show those components that don't have a material specified to them. This way I could just work my way down the list and start applying the materials as I would normally. Another useful tool to help you navigate around an assembly is the selection manager up here. You'll notice from the drop down I've got several predefined options that I can choose. So I can select things that are suppressed, hidden, internal components or maybe even toolbox. If I have a component pre-selected, a useful one is to select what's mated to it and it will highlight like so. You can take it a step further and use the advanced select. If I bring this up, it will open up a new little dialog box, and this is where I can specify a search criteria. So perhaps I want to search for a specific custom property. So if I drop down category 1, I can choose custom property. If I then look at category 2, it lists all the custom properties that are in these part documents. So I can check, for example, for any part documents checked by a name like so. And if I just click apply, it goes off and you see it's selected one component that's got a custom property code checked by whose value is equal to the word Stephen. I can do things like check for part mass and check for things that are greater than, say, 1. And if I click apply, you'll notice it's selected them in the tree. I might really like that search and I might use it um, often, so I can actually save it as a search. So if I type in here a name, I can click the little save, and now when I click on my Manage Search tabs, you'll see it's available here. If I click Add to Favourites and Close, you'll now notice that from my original list, mine's available here. So I can very quickly make a selection set and get those components whenever I want them.